What's up, Wikimaniacs? Welcome back to another Wednesday update. Uh, again, name pending. We've heard amazing uh, suggestions. We're going to do a poll soon and uh, get that name concrete so that we can properly introduce this. But basically, what we're going to do here today is we're going to go back to a story that we covered in the past and give you an update <laughs> that has been recently posted uh, so that we nice. can conclude the story. So For free? Nice. For free, yeah. This isn't on Patreon? <laughs> no, it's not on Patreon. <laughs> what are we what? What are we so, doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> excuse me. So the story <laughs> we're going back to is the uh, uh was posted by Ether Lower Score Economy, Lower Score 793, and the title is Am I the Asshole for Telling My Husband I Told You So and Laughing at Him When We Got the Paternity Test Results. So we're gonna play mm. the story first in its entirety. Uh, we're going to put the show notes in. So if you just want to skip the original story and go to the update, you can. But we're going to hop into the story right now. Get therapy. I'm so this one cross posted by, of course, Phoebe the fan. Ooh, what a start. Mm. What a start. And the title is, Am I the Asshole for Telling My Husband I Told You So and Laughing at Him When We Got the Paternity Test Results? And John, you can go first since you killed it in 2023 and I think it's only fair. <laughs> Damn, paternity test but laughing at the husband? Uh, I'm going to go with no. I'm thinking that the husband probably be like, hey, I want you to keep getting a paternity test to prove that this kid is mine. And the wife is reassuring the husband like, hey, yeah, this kid's yours. And when they got the result, the wife probably was like, hey, I fucking told you so that's your kid. So I'm gonna go not the asshole. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. I was thinking this guy was, you know, the, you know, the Mari test, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Or not you are dancing. not the father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. All right. United on the first story. Let's hop into it. I, 27 female, have been married to my husband, 28 male, for two years and gave birth to our daughter five weeks ago. The main issue is that our daughter came out with blonde hair and pale blue eyes, while my husband and I have brown hair and brown eyes. My husband freaked out at this and refused to listen to my explanation that sometimes babies are born with lighter hair and eyes that get darker over time. He demanded a paternity test and threatened to divorce me if I didn't comply. So I did. Also, yeah, I had blonde hair when I was a baby, so it does definitely happen. I was going to say white people. <laughs> when are you going to learn? This is uh, unless it's like <laughs> an Asian or a different colored baby, then it's probably your baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be another white guy's baby. You never know. Yeah, but <laughs> first I mean, white joke of the but year. But it's crazy to, as soon as your you know, blonde baby comes out to be like, that's got to be someone else's. That can't be mine. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless your baby came out looking brown as hell like us. Yeah, then you, then you gotta be like, well, shit. I mean, maybe you should just. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we could get a paternity test, you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly right. Uh, so after my daughter and I got home from the hospital, my husband went to stay at his parents' house for the first three weeks to get some space from me while I recovered and he told them what mm. was happening. My mother-in-law called me and informed me that if a paternity test revealed that the child wasn't his, she would do anything within her power to make sure that I was taken to the cleaners during the divorce. This <laughs> is crazy. That <laughs> lie is <laughs> Leaving her for three weeks when she just gave birth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Bro. not even that to just jump to like such drastic conclusions over a blonde baby. Brother, you're white. It happens. <laughs> I don't know. What to, I don't know what to tell you, man. Why are you freaking out? We are out? famously blonde in a lot of places. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then for the mother-in-law to just jump to the, uh, hey, I'm taking you to the clean, like threatening without even knowing the results is is insane. Yes. Because oh, this is crazy. divorce regardless now <laughs> yeah. for me. Oh, run. And then take him to the cleaners. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Take him to the cleaners and get all the fucking child support you can get from that motherfucker. Hell yeah. False yes. accusations. What is it? Facts. The, the fame, defamation. Defamatory. Defama de defamation. defamation. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know legal words. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca, who? Check us, Rebecca. Let us know. <laughs> 
Uh, so I had my sister to lean on and help me take care of the baby during this. We got the results back yesterday and my husband came home to view them with me. I was on the couch in the living room, so he sat next to me and we started to read the results. They showed that he was the father and my husband had this shocked, kind of mortified look on his face with his eyes wide as he stared at it. Why was he shocked? Because mm. blonde can't be his, John. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy is a fucking idiot. I couldn't help but say, I told you so, and started laughing at the way he looked. My husband snapped out of his shock and got mad at me for laughing at him. And we argued for a bit, which was mainly him yelling at me before my sister came down and my husband shut up. After that, my husband went back to his parents' house to clear his head. Ugh. And after about two to three hours later, my mother-in-law called me to scold me for laughing in my husband's face because apparently it was kicking him while he was down. Divorce. Why is this information making him down? You know what I mean? Yeah. Should this not be the <laughs> life affirming <laughs> revelation that he has been waiting for for the past three weeks? Yeah. Why is this a down moment for it? I mean, yeah. he should be embarrassed. Is obviously, this not a for huge win? Reacted. Oh, but yeah, yeah, for sure. This is your kid. Your wife didn't cheat on you like uh, you crazily thought. Uh, why is this kicking you while you're quote unquote down? That's crazy. It sounds like he absolutely hates her. And the mother-in-law also doesn't like this, uh, you know, in-law. Yeah, the mother-in-law. It's just, it's just planting a seed to the, the husband. I mean, the husband's a terrible person to begin with. And yeah. Just like, hey, you should leave this person. And oh, it's giving me the egg. I hate these two people. <laughs> so she also left a couple nasty texts, essentially saying the same thing this morning. I don't think I'm an asshole, but I'd like an outsider's perspective on this. So am I the asshole? No, no. absolutely not. Usually Easy I'm, no. I'm, I'm very against the whole, I told you so type of shit. Cause, uh, I don't know. It, it is a lot of times it is kicking you when you're down. Uh, in certain situations, but this is very much deserved. That guy is an idiot. The mother-in-law is an absolute monster. I hate to use divorce as the first advice to give this of person, but absolutely <laughs> divorce this guy and his mom because they are not good for you and they are not going to be good for your kid growing up. A hundred percent. What are you saying, Sean? I mean, you said a lot, Sean, but go off if you got some more stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, that. I mean, we mostly got off uh, what we needed to say. Like, insane to one, like, take the, take the kid out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After, you know, birth, regardless of if you're the dad or not, that's still your wife, right? You know what I mean? Like, you should still be mm -hmm. helping her and being like, all right, well, I think we should get a paternity test just because, you know, it's blonde, even though you're white. Come on. Man. Uh, <laughs> but, like... Okay, you you know, you could ask for that or whatever, but like you still got to be there for your wife. You still got to take care of your wife. So one crazy, you just left and the accusations again are crazy because you're white. Uh, and then like two <laughs> to sick your mom on her and like have her go off and, you know, I'll take you to the cleaners, threaten financially and then again, defend you whenever you are down uh, and crying about, you know, learning that you are indeed the father. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this whole family sucks. I agree with John. I think I agree with everything you guys said. He's the number one asshole, obviously, for leaving you, uh, accusing you of cheating on such little basis. Uh, There's no you, zero evidence. Yeah, I mean, if you want a paternity test, that's one thing. Uh, but you still stick around and like, yes. I mean, that's, that's probably your kid uh, and your wife probably did not cheat on you. So you should stick around at least until you have concrete evidence that exactly. uh, that's not the case. Um, and then the mother-in-law obviously sucks for all the reasons you guys said, butting in where it's obviously not her place and then going yeah. over the line to threaten you with, again, no evidence, little evidence, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> uh, is, is insane. To do that mental and emotional gymnastics five weeks into postpartum is oh, yeah. evil, evil, evil evil behavior yeah man. to put on top of that she just had a baby and she mm -hmm. just gave birth five weeks taking care of a baby uh i mean she had her sister with you with her but essentially by herself as a parent you yes know what i mean uh, insane um reddit deemed not the asshole of course yeah obviously Thank as it should uh floof midscore the midscore the uh small in our comments said so he calls you a liar and a cheater Demands proof that you aren't, throws a fit when it turns out you were right, and responds to every inconvenience with needing space. 
I'm all for taking space, but he literally let you take care of a newborn while you're healing. And his family was more prepared to demean and insult you than to even consider the possibility of a misunderstanding during an extremely emotional and vulnerable time. I sincerely ask why stay? Mm. And then, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. All right. So we got the update here. Uh, and I got a shout out. Uh, Mary gets who posted it on our, oh. They do it all, damn it. They do, they it, do all. it all. Uh, they posted- 2024 is the year of the gits. <laughs> Mary mm-hmm. Gitz. Uh Hell yeah, the goat. Uh, but I was also tagged, Saskia tagged me, letting me know that- uh, Of course. Oh, yeah. It's the, the goat. This is where it is. Uh, and I got to shout out uh, Eggnog Mustache, who linked Mary Gitz's post. Fantastic name. Yes. Uh, I love Eggnog. So let's hop into it. Uh, update, am I the asshole for telling my husband I told you so and laughing at him when we got the paternity test results? So I'll start this post off by saying thank you all for the advice and support I was given. You all gave me the firm kick in the ass to divorce my ex. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Also, sorry for leaving you in the lurch for the past two months. So this is a very recent update. Wow. After making my post, I decided to search for divorce lawyers in my area with my sister. It took a while, but I managed to find and meet with one who was willing to do virtual consultations. During this, my ex was not contacting me at all, but I did reach out to see if he was okay. So, so I would be like, "Fuck was you!" Still not contacting her after the what a test. Dweeb. What a piece of shit! A little loser. Eventually, once he actually got served, my ex came back to our house and tried pleading with me <laughs> to not go through with the divorce. Oh, okay, now you want to talk. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, now you're okay with the paternity test. He said he loved me more than anyone and that we could go to couples therapy. I don't know. Ignoring somebody for such a long time. A long time. Especially with your baby, y'all's baby, essentially. That you haven't taken care of at all since. Mm -hmm. Not one. Immediately asked for the paternity (laughs) test. Yeah. Uh, And this might explain why. So during this, my ex slipped up and admitted to cheating on me when he first left me. <sighs> Projection. I, I feel like somebody. I feel like somebody called that. Did you call that, John? I didn't listen back, but I also did I not wanna, listen back. I don't want to take credit if I did it. It was probably one of us that said it. <laughs> it's definitely not my ass. I know there's some comments that said that as well. Uh, yeah. But this is even ins- more insane because it was after he left her. Like he he had his little fit about wanting a paternity test and then left. Then he had it. He cheated. So he mm. cried to his mommy. Yeah. And then went to cheat. Yeah. And then he's wondering why his ass is getting divorced. Exactly. What a fucking idiot. Yeah. So, <laughs> so gross. Um, he said that he got caught up with his coworker when trying to explain his week long absence. At first, I didn't realize who he was talking about because he referred to her by a nickname uh, and in brackets, think Viv over Vivian. But my brain kicked back into gear and asked if that getting caught up with her was code for that he fucked her. Mm, Doing spreadsheets in a different way, baby. (laughs) Shit. Uh, That's pretty good. I don't hate that one. (laughs) I don't hate that one. My ex stumbled over his words and tried to dodge the question, but seemed to realize that I wasn't going to let up on this pretty quickly. (sighs) He admitted to going to her for emotional support before our baby was born since he was nervous about being a dad. Oh my God. And eventually fucking her during the time he left. So you guys were right about him cheating. Why don't you support your wife that's going through the fucking pregnancy? Yeah. That's crazy to be like, I'm so scared to be a dad and then not talk to your wife who is also probably scared to push a human out yes. of her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Share in that fucking vulnerability and just fucking, you know, if we're both scared, you know, let's talk about it. Yeah. Uh, Again, instead going- talking to uh, fucking Viv. <laughs> going to our Monday story. I feel like me and Josh had the same reaction. Dudes are more than capable of communicating and expressing their <laughs> yeah, shit, when but they, they just do it and do that to a cheating part. Yeah, <laughs> what, it's what insane. The fuck? Crazy. Uh, I had heard enough at that point and told my ex point blank we were going to divorce, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, and that I wanted 50-50 custody. After this, we were only speaking about divorce, custody arrangement, and our daughter. My ex just nodded to what I was saying and asked if he could see our daughter. I was a bit hesitant, but I said yes and called my sister to have her bring our daughter down to the living room. My ex held our daughter and talked to the baby for a few of bit before leaving. 
My sister asked me if I was all right after he was gone, and I told her I was okay. <laughs> oh, here comes the mother-in-law. My uh, mother-in-law did try to harass me over the phone about divorcing my ex, but by then I had already blocked her, so she went to my sister instead. I guess my mother-in-law was never told that I own the house my ex and I previously shared since she texted my sister saying that I was going to be on the streets. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Well, my mother-in-law most certainly knows that now since my ex is living with her and moved out. My ex has seen our daughter a few times. Those visits were awkward to say the least, but I managed. Hopefully I won't have to give you guys any more updates about this. And that is the end of that update. Mm. Uh, Honestly, I would be, if I was OP, I would really try my best to get full custody of the kid. I was thinking the same exact thing. The reason being, it's like already off the bat, the guy was questioning if this kid's even mine. There was already some sort of like immediate, you know, kind of like a resentment aspect of it. And he had to go cheat and find out he's using the excuse that he's scared of being a father. But no, he's just a piece of shit. And two, I am scared of the mother-in-law. Yeah. Like big time. Yeah. You never know what she's fucking capable of. That's true too. I will say this, if he wants to be involved in the kid's life, I mean, that's a good thing, uh, sure. but make sure that everything is documented so that if anything yep. does happen in the future, that you can pull that hundred percent, you know, therapy or uh, therapy, uh, custody, custody, uh, custody, and, and get that. Um, if you want to start out with 50, 50, cause I'm sure I, I'm not an expert. I'm sure there's somewhere <laughs> if something <laughs> happens later down the line and they fuck up with something that you could pull for a hundred percent custody later on. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just scared. I, I'm just scared. Yeah, I'd be yeah. scared. I'd be I'd be like a hundred percent until like we could you know work your way again. Not an expert at all about this <laughs> stuff, but like you could work your way and earn your fifty. You know, like once you know, I know you're to like some sort of therapy or like some sort of like you know something together resolution class or whatever the fuck it is. I will yeah, say I this I though, I I get her wanting to do fifty fifty to have like you know so she doesn't have to take care of the baby all the time. True. Uh, so it is also like a, mm. you know, wanting to have the father in the child's life. So I get that part. Again, I am also scared of the mother-in-law, uh, and his flakiness seems to be a problem as well. But again, push for the fifty-fifty now. Make sure everything's in writing, so that if he does flake or do some bullshit again, that you can just say, "Hey, all right, you don't, you get to see her whenever I say now." True. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Anything else, boys? No, just upset still. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a just sweet. all, all these dudes that are just, you know, we had it on the Monday episode. I don't know when this is coming out, but we, you know, we've had plenty of stories where guys just like, you know, let their soul out to anybody but their fucking wife. It's yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, it's maddening. Just fucking talk to them. A hundred percent. Yeah. It, it makes no sense. And, and like, yeah, don't be a baby, but when, when you actually get proven wrong with the paternity test and, and the mother-in-law should just fuck off and mind her own business, to be honest. Yeah. All right. That is it for another Wednesday update. Uh, we hope Thanks you for en- being patrons <laughs> and non-patrons. <laughs> we appreciate you as well. Uh, if you Do want this, well, two- I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <We both. laughs> I will say though, patrons get this two days early. So, uh, Ooh, yeah. yeah, if you want, you can, uh, head on over to patreoncom slash cultivate podcast network to support us and get access to episodes, you know, a little bit early, uh, as well as bonus stories. Oh, thank you to everyone for subscribing. 20,000 subscribers. That is crazy. Ooh. And on YouTube, a lot yeah, of the com- yeah. uh, some of the comments we've seen, like expected us to like have more people. We wish we did, <laughs> but that'd be great. Spread the word, spread the word. And, and hopefully we'll get there someday. And we really do appreciate you. I'm just fucking around with y'all. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, like yeah. subscribe so that we can make it to a hundred thousand someday. I want that yeah. plaque. Yeah, that would be I cool. I got dibs actually. on it already. Yeah, and if you what don't like and subscribe, we're going to have to put this behind a paywall. I don't know what to tell you guys. We can't just be giving the secret away. The secret sauce? What are we doing? <laughs> All right. With that, we're going to close out the episode. Uh, thank you, John and Sean, for hopping on. And thank you, Mary Gitz, Saskia, and Eggnog Mustache, Eggnog for, mustache. for tagging me and showing me the, the updates. We appreciate you. Bye. For free? Therapy.